when did you first meet? Do you remember? At the Monet Committee for a meeting there. And all the people who were there, not very numerous. The committee was, I would say, 30 people, 40 people. Maybe about 30. Yeah, 30, yeah, about 30. Yeah. Not a crowd. They were all people with desire, wish uh, to build Europe. I was European-minded already since 48. 48 by chance. I met Jean Monnet the first time in Strasbourg. And I be became convinced of his ideas. Despite his somewhat utopian title, the United States of Europe, nevertheless, he proposed going forward stepwise, one step after the other. There was an idea for the European Union at the beginning. This idea worked until the Maastricht Treaty, 1990. 91. That you want, uh, ratification 92, I yeah. think. About. January 92. Yeah. Not ratification, paraphirant. Par, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 90, uh, 1992. And after that, the aim of European unification disappeared. Because of the rapid enlargement, the no reform of the European institutions, which create a commission of 28 members and absurd uh, structures. So now people are disaffectionate with Europe. There is a crisis, economic crisis, unemployment crisis. They don't know if it links or not to the European Union. So there is a period in which the aim disappears. And at the same time, the justification increases. Because the new justification is the question of size. We are too small. And the world is much larger. So we need to unite. And so our book, Unter Buch, <laughs> is to tell what should be done. Probably it will not be done. But there will be a road map. What should be done? So I write in French. It's translated in German, sent to Helmut, which change it, improve it. As a procedure that hasn't really started, except that the first 50 pages are on the way from yes, Paris to, to, to Hamburg. To Hamburg. Yes. I'm too old to write. Uh, I haven't written in, uh, since a year or so. The intellectual work which is necessary for such a book is taking place in his mind. Someone must write. Well, it's easier for me, so I do it. Valerie, in seven years' time, I will be dead and you will be as old as I am now and you will be as deaf as I am nowadays. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But perhaps you will meet in the cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> Could happen. Could happen.